welcome back to Uzo's Tribe, my YouTube channel, where we talk about love, life, career, faith, scholarships, my life in the UK as a student, and every other thing in between. This phrase is getting longer and longer. I'm just gonna say where we talk about my life, <laughs> scholarships, and everything in between. Okay, today, you can guess what I'm talking about culture shocks, things that shocked me when I got to this UK. So, for the most part, the UK is like a <laughs> Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part like largely like when it comes to like diversity inclusive inclusivity you know you see a lot of people here and all that of course it's not the same as seeing your Ibu Aousa people when you're seeing like Indian Chinese you know but it's it's a lot like Nigeria you get a Nigerian vibe a lot you you, you you don't feel too much like you've left home okay but I still had a lot of things that sort of shocked me in this UK the first thing that shocked me was the right hand drive so i already knew that they operated the right hand drive here but somehow it still felt strange like i remember the first two times i ordered like a taxi and i was trying to go to to i wanted to go and sit down i swear guys i went to the right hand side only for me to drive the driver i'm like hey wait and then i had to now do like about turn and go to the left hand side and sit down so it was a bit weird for me the first two times, three times, but I think I got accustomed to that pretty quick. I'm, I'm not accustomed. Well, I shall now. I mean, now I'm accustomed. I think the second thing, guys, that busts my brain when I go here is the. I don't. How do I put this? The crossing paths. Like there are places you can't cross. Like a lot of the streets have this um side this pedestrian crossing thing. So you know in Nigeria we don't really if you, you cross road anywhere, like especially when there are no bridges for you to go and climb and come down. And uh, you just you just look left to the motor no they come. You you don't cross road, you've crossed the road and all that. But here you don't just cross like that. Of course there are some streets. There are some small streets where you just um look left and right and cross like there are no crossings but here i noticed there are designated areas where pedestrians cross like you go there you press the button and wait for the traffic lights to turn green for pedestrians before you cross if you know how many times my friends and i have crossed at the wrong places if you guys know how many times a car has almost hit me in this uk hey god when I'm trying to cross like in Nigeria, sometimes I don't see those places. I don't know, it's like maybe far ahead. And before I become a bush girl, eh, I own it to my full chest. I'm a bush girl. This is my first time. It's my first time, please. My first time traveling anywhere. There will be many other times now, but this is my first time. So I have not really experienced, I've only experienced Nigeria like all my life. And you know how we do it there now. You know, a little bit of, you know, lawlessness makes me weary. So, <laughs> you know, so seeing this kind of structure, like, shocked me the first, like, two weeks or so. As in, there was even a time, and then the cyclings are another thing that I was a bit like, oh, uh, okay. And the way these bicycle people used to ride so fast, like, almost everyone here has, a, not almost everyone, but a lot of people have bicycles to so just move around and... I think I, I've seen more bicycles than cars, actually. So I'm like, ah. you just be thinking you're on regular pedestrian place. Next thing you just say, oi, oi, hey, hey. Somebody's coming with his bicycle really fast and he can hit you down. So, anyway, I wasn't expecting all that. So yeah, guys, almost everyone here uses the train like ain't nobody got time to come up doing oh yeah i'm this i'm that I, I see my lecturers in the train i see like you get like everyone here uses the train it's so natural like no biggie just enter your train go where you're going come back to your house nothing no big manism at least not in the area of i'm sure there must be big manism somewhere but not in the area where i am everybody's just living generally like everybody is just living and i think i love that like about the uk it's just it, of course there are people buying homes and buying cars and doing big things and going clubbing every friday with like thousands of pounds and all that but for the most part you won't feel intimidated by anyone per se you get because everyone is just everyone is doing their own thing um i think another thing i've noticed here is 
there's not a culture shock as such because in Nigeria we have that as well, sort of, but here it's like amplified. Mind your business. No one gives a shit about you. Like, no one cares. It's just like in the train, for instance. Sometimes, unless you're obviously like actively ailing and people can see it, and then someone might just offer you their seat. You see this thing we normally do in Nigeria, that once an elderly person enters the bus or something, you just want to stand up and do respect. Yeah, nobody gives it. Like, the elderly all you want. Nobody cares. Or somebody that is still that will still sit down. Which is strange. The first few times I wanted to stand up and be like, let me be the respectful girl. When I saw the other young people like me were sitting on their seat, I'm like, okay. Plus, sometimes you would even stand up and offer, and they'll be like, oh no, no worries. Like, they'll give you a la on top of it. So, me, I'm like, I beg, instead of dropping a la for no reason, let me go sit down. So this it. particular one shocked me like the first few days I got here. Like, I was not expecting in Nigeria, we operate by a very cash based society. So I was not really expecting, I was expecting the same thing. So when I came here, I came here with a couple of pounds. I'm like, okay, at least I'm busy to be buying something. Most places here will not collect cash, yo. Of course, some Sainsbury stores, their machines allow you to slot in your cash. And then some local grocery shops to my collect cash from you. But you see most, it's your card, yeah? So you see why I made a video telling you about the first few things you need to do. Open an account and put pounds inside because, my dears, you are not going to be able to just carry your cash and be fighting every year. Most places here won't take cash from you. In fact, almost all places won't take cash from you. Just few back street shops and there may be some really big stores that have like machines that allow you to sort in your cash. Because the Sainsbury close to my house allows you to sort in your cash. Aside that, I'm sorry dear, you're not going to be able to make any transaction or go anywhere. For instance, the train, you use your card. Ain't nobody taking cash for you from you. Um, stores, you use your card to buy things online, use your card, everything, your card. So, open that bank account first. The first week you get here, open your bank account. You can start with an online bank account, Revolut or Monzo. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys, this one actually shocked me. And it used to pay me join. It doesn't just shock me, it also pains me. When you tell people sorry here, like say someone's coffee spills now, and things they might like oh sorry sorry next thing you hear is oh what are you apologizing for what are you apologizing for it's not your fault did i say it was my fault or maybe someone falls down you're like oh sorry oh why are you apologizing it's not your fault like guy i know it's not my fault are you are you kidding me i know it's not my fault i'm just telling you sorry like sorry happened to you you know I got that like 50 times in class. Something when I put to my lecture, I'm like, oh, sorry. She's like, oh, what, what are you apologizing for? It's not your fault. They look so confused when you say sorry here. I'm like, ah, sorry, yo. Sorry, I'm saying sorry, yo. It's me that came to feel sorry for you in the first place. They don't understand our empathy the way we do it, okay? They don't get that saying sorry is not you apologizing for your wrong. It's you being empathetic to their situation at the time. So the best thing to do is, oh, are you okay? Are you all right? You know, just ask them if they're okay, if they're all right. Do you need help? You know, and then person will be like, oh yeah, I'm fine, no worries. Oh, I'm good. Thank you very much for asking and stuff like that. If you can say sorry, everybody will keep asking you what you're apologizing for. So don't cook, don't tell them sorry. Okay, don't do that. Um, I think the last thing, it didn't shock me as such. Like, it's just the diversity. The diversity is beautiful. Oh, this is not the last thing, I think. The diversity is so beautiful. Like, I love how diverse this place is. I love how, like, almost every nationality you see here. It's so Greek. You see Ukrainians. You see Asians. You see Pakistanis. You see even people. I've met someone from Tox and Keiko. Like, one small island. Like, you just see so many people. And if you're looking for Nigerians, of course, we're everywhere. I love the fact that you can also see Nigerian food very easily when you go to like African market markets, like the one in Woolwich. Perfect. Last but not least is how fickle the weather here can be. It was before they used to catch me now. I will be coming out. I will not carry anything. I'll just come out as a vado, vado, vado snes, pepe I will just, <laughs> I will not carry umbrella. I will not carry, I will not wear appropriate clothing. Um, let's see, you're just there. A bright sunny morning. Two minutes later, serious rain does that today for like one serious rain from nowhere just begins it's crazy or you could just be there beautiful sunny day all of a sudden smoke is coming out from your mouth you're like ah, i don't understand when did the weather drop crazy my speak my people so but now i am wiser very wise so before i go out on any day i say hey siri please what's the weather like today 
And when Siri informs me, oh, there'll be rainfall at social time, there'll be this one at social time, it'll be like eight degrees, seven degrees at social time, it'll be five degrees. I'm like, thank you for your patronage. I will just generally enter my wardrobe and pick something appropriate for the weather. So now I rarely go out unprepared. My umbrella always goes with me, even though I'm so, so most times it even rains and I'm too lazy to bring it out. I don't know if that happens to any other person. You don't get too lazy to bring an umbrella and be holding up and down. So I'll just, I'll just cover my hair with my hoodie and I'll keep going where I'm going <laughs> under the rain. Crazy. And the rain rarely ever falls like serious, like cats and dogs. It just, it rains well, but not like Nigerian rain that will want to carry you and go. Um, I think that's also it. I'll also be sharing like, th like tips for your health, you know, what you should do to avoid like brittle bones and all that in my next video. So, and, and I'll be making a part two of this video. And in fact, I think I'll also be making a part two of my previous video, the um, five things you need um, in the UK as an international student. Okay, but it's not now be when you arrive, it's just be five things you need or other things you need as, a, as, as an international student in the UK. So as more information comes to me as I leave, continue to live my life here, what else will I do but share with you, right? I think this is where I leave you guys today on this video. Thank you so much for listening to me as usual. Leave your comments. What shocks you? What, what happens in this UK that shocks you? Please, just let me know in the comments so that I mean, so I can look forward to it, right? I've also been telling you places to go to. As a matter of fact, I'm so excited today and as I'm making this video. I'm also going somewhere with my friends and ooh, I can't make I can't wait to like film content for you guys from where I went to. Anywho, I'll just make a short vlog. I'm beginning to now ramble. Thank you so much for listening to my video. I love you guys. Thank you for always like um talking to me back in the comments it feels like i have a family already and uh keep subscribing keep sharing my videos with your friends and if this video is suggested to you by youtube keep watching keep liking keep commenting and i will see you guys in my next video bye